So we are halfway through Lions training camp. It just seems like the team has been here forever in Kamloops, but they're only halfway, but that means it's officially the dog days of training camp. So who better to talk to to get a mid-camp assessment than the leader of the pack, Ryan Phillips, a veteran DB, in his 12th year with BC, 33 years old, and very much old school. So what I want to know from Ryan Phillips how is Wally Buono 2.0 any different than 1.0? And he says, well, everybody changes. This is Ryan Phillips he says that Wally Buono, maybe he's a little mellower. He says there's certain things that he never thought he would see, such as music when the players are stretching. They uh, crank up the tunes here at Hillside Stadium when the Lions are, are limbering up for their workouts. But he said the biggest difference in having Wally Buono back is the accountability that having the GM as a coach brings to the field. And Philip said that was one of the things that was really missing last year with Jeff Tedford as coach, is that there wasn't a level of accountability that Phillips thought there needed to be for the team to be at its best. Players could make mistakes, they could maybe come to a meeting slightly late, and it's not that, that Jeff Tedford was a slacker, but he was brought in as a head coach only, he was uh, essentially new to the CFL, having been away so long, and he just didn't carry that kind of disciplinary heft that Wally Buono brings. So Ryan Phillips thinks that's going to make a big difference. Now, the, the only thing I said to him is, well, Wally hasn't coached since 2011. You almost have a generation of players here who have no idea who Wally Buono is. And Ryan Phillips said they're finding out quickly who he is. He's obviously stoked. Everybody is excited about the season. At, at this stage of the year. But Ryan Phillips really thinks that last year was an anomaly, that Wally Buono is gonna get them back on track and that this team is gonna do great things. Well, we're only in early June still. It seems an awfully long way away. So does the end of training camp, but uh, the season will be here soon enough and we'll find out firsthand what Wally Buono 2.0 is really like.